Hi guys, it's Liz from Little Homestead on the Hill, and today I am going to show you guys one of the simplest recipes ever. And I bet you use it all the time, and I bet you have the ingredients in your pantry. So stay tuned. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to make homemade brown sugar. Yes, brown sugar. How many times have you guys run to the store to buy something so simple that you have, I'm pretty definite sure, the ingredients in your house to make? So all you need is molasses and some cane sugar. That is it. Two ingredients to make this. So let's go over to the fruit processor and we'll start this right now. So all you need for this recipe is it's one cup of sugar right here per and one cup of molasses. Now if you want to do dark brown sugar, you would want to do double the amount of molasses. So but I don't usually use dark brown, so we're just going to stick it to regular light brown sugar. So I'm going to make a double batch. So I have a two cup container right here. And I'm going to pour that in just like that and then I need two tablespoons of two tablespoons of molasses so there's one and two so I'm going to put the cover on my food processor and start it. I saw you from across the room. When I rest, man, I'm going to open it back up. And I'm going to scrape down the sides because it does stick on the sides. Just like that. And let it go again. And let's open her up and see what it looks like. And that is beautiful right now light brown sugar. Look at that. And like I said, if you want it darker, if you want a dark brown sugar, all you would do is just add more molasses to it. So, next I'm going to take the beater off. And I bought this container right here to store brown sugar and it is an airtight container. I actually paid five dollars for this at Family Dollar. So let's fill it up. Always make sure you store it in an airtight container. So I got this one at um, Family Dollar. It was five bucks, so I bought it just for this. So, but I don't need to make a ton of it. Like I could fill the whole jar if I wanted to, but it was so simple to make that I can make this in less than a minute and have fresh um, brown sugar all the time. Cause you ever got to your brown sugar and you got to it and it was hard as a rock? I do, all the time. This way I have it on hand, it's always around. I have the ingredients right in my pantry. I think you guys do too. I hope you guys learned something new and I hope you guys will subscribe to this channel and ring the bell so you'll be notified every single time that I upload a new video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.